Right, P3, International A Level, Jan 2023, question A, bit of trig integration, uh, 2 cos x minus sine x, all squared. Um, now, if you're uh, doing a bit of integration, it's much easier to do little terms rather than big ones, so we're going we're gonna to expand that bracket out first. Uh, 4 cos squared minus 4 cos x sine x in the middle, uh, and then plus sine x squared in at the end. So I've got three terms rather than three separate smaller terms rather than one big one. Um, now, there's a particular way of integrating cos squared and sine squared. Uh, we use the double angle formulas. Uh, we get those um, by looking at the formula book where it says the cos of A plus or minus B is equal to that. Um, if I uh, look at the plus one, which gives you a minus on the right hand side uh, and replace all the A's and B's with X's, I'll get two X on the left hand side, cos to X is cos squared x minus sine squared x. Um, I can replace the uh, the sine squared with 1 minus cos squared, giving me cos 2x is 2 cos squared minus 1. So that familiar double angle formula. But I'm going to rearrange it um, into cos squared equals. Um, and that's what we're going to use to, uh, to integrate cos squared. Uh, you can also do a similar thing and get... Uh, Replace the cos squared with 1 minus sine squared in in here. And you end up with 1 minus 2, squared, squared, 2 sine squared, which rearranged gives you this for sine squared. Uh, and uh, that's what we're going to use to integrate the sine squared. Also, uh, there's the uh, the compound angle formula for sine. If I replace the uh, A's and B's X again, I'll get that double angle formula for sine, which I'm also going to use for that for that middle term. Um, so replacing the cos squared with 1 plus cos 2x over 2 over here, the 4 cos x sine x with 2 sine 2x, so I've got 4 sine 2x cos x, and this sine squared I'll replace with 1 minus cos 2x over 2. Then if I look at the uh, numbers, uh, that 1 really means 4 over 2, um, and that one it was really one over two so i've got five over two when i simplify it uh looking at the cos two x's that cost cos two x is four over two times cos two x and i've got minus a half of cos two x here so that's uh three over two cos two x and uh and then i've got the minus two sine two x at the end and that's that's my simplified form and i actually now that's in a form now that i can integrate uh, the 5 over 2 integrated is just 5 over 2x. The cos 2x, well, that's a half sine 2x integrated, but I've got a 3 over 2 in front, so it's 3 quarters. The sine integrated is minus cos, but I've got a minus anyway. Uh, so that's just cos 2x. Because um, if I differentiate cos 2x, I get minus 2 sine 2x. And, and don't forget that plus c at the end, even though they won't bother too much about that, I wouldn't have thought. Um, and incidentally, um, this middle term, um, you can actually get, if you differentiate 2 sine squared, um, the 2 will go in front, because um, it's something squared, so you'll have a 4, and then it'll be sine x to the power of 1, multiplied by the sine x differentiated, which is cos x, which does give you that, uh, that middle term. Uh, you can even do it with cos squared as well. And there we go.